So Rick, I would love to know what your, um, what your process is or at what point in the process, in the creative process, do you think about paper or materials when designing for print? That's a really good question. I usually tell the young designers in the studio the same thing ad infinitum, which is start at the end. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but if you start at the end in any of the platforms that you're working on, you will see more clearly the experience it is you want to set out to design for. Let's take paper for a minute. If you start at the end, the end might be somebody holding that which you've printed or looking at it. But if you go back just a little bit, it's it coming off the press. What are you seeing when it comes off the press? Are you seeing a lot of waste? Are you seeing your image sort of heading the in the wrong direction against the grain? Are you seeing ink that you thought would be much more bright, less saturated because of the holdout? If you can begin to pre-visualize all of those things and you can provide some answers that are much more sympathetic to your process and you can share them with your clients. If you say, for instance, to a client, will you just uh, uh, tell me what you'd like us to design or how you want this brochure we're going to be to feel? And they're gonna go, oh, I can't do that. Well, of course they can do that. Everybody has had that experience. You just say, make the invisible brochure in your hands. Do you want the big one? Right? You know that's a 16 by 24 piece of paper. You know what that press size is. You can get four pages out of one form. Or do you want that little mini one that they pull out of their lapel pocket? Or do they want the accordion fold version? Those hand gestures are them starting at the end, pre-visualizing something that doesn't already exist. You can design to that. And then they say, well, I can't afford that. Well, yes, you can afford that. You can afford it if you know what the cost of a press form is. And you can guesstimate. You know, in our world, it's going to be like, oh, $5,000 press form. Well, that's not necessarily true all the time. It's certainly not true on a web job. But do that, and then they go, oh, uh, you mean I can have then 36 pages? Hmm, if it's 16 or 6 by 9, maybe. And those sorts of pre-visualizations are the key to, I think, making a successful, affordable, mistake, almost free process. How was that for an That answer? was great. That was amazing.